Hi, welcome to TechCrunch TV. I'm Sarah Lacey and I'm joined by David Yu of Betfair, who is one of the very, very few consumer internet CEOs out of London that has actually created a multi-billion dollar publicly traded company. Well done. Oh, thanks, Sarah. So, it sounds nice when you put it that way. It sounds very unique and exotic, actually. It is, it is exotic. You're like our dodo bird. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good thing. We'll talk more about the IPO in a minute, but I want to talk a little bit about your U.S. business, which is you know the reason uh, that you've come here. Um, last time I read about you guys on TechCrunch, um, I think you had just acquired uh, the the business. Tell people a little bit what it what it's like because we all know you know online gambling is illegal here. So what the hell kind of business can you do? Right. So I mean, just in the way of background, you know, what Betfair is is we're this we're a very large global consumer internet business, as you said. We've got amazing technology that we've applied into the online gaming space, in particular around sports betting, where we've created something called a betting exchange, which has revolutionized the way that people bet on sports. But of course, sports betting and other forms of gambling are illegal in the U.S. as well as other territories, and we've always been very respectful of local regulation. So we were keeping an eye on the U.S. market, and in particular, as I was finding myself back in the States a few years ago, spending more and more time. It felt that you know, there was starting to be a trend towards thinking about liberalization of gaming laws in the U.S. And certainly I think some of the, yeah, the economic impact that I think the U.S. has had has certainly led people to think about other forms of revenue that could be derived from what goes on here in the U.S. So we saw a company that, that you talked to us about uh, right after we acquired it last year, which is a business called TVG. And TVG is based in Los Angeles, and it's a leading form of legal online wagering, which is specifically on horse racing, mm -hmm. through something called an advanced deposit wagering business. And TVG is a, is a leading ADW here in America, and we take wagers from residents in 18 states, and we're licensed to operate in those states. We're also, interestingly, a television station. So mm -hmm. we have a studio in Los Angeles. Uh, we broadcast into about 30 million homes across the U.S. We show live horse racing throughout the day. We have commentary and other content on the, on the television station. And it's a way that people can bet on those horses, either through online or, or other means. And again, it's completely legal through mm -hmm. the ADW at TVG. How big of a part of your business is this? Well, you know, we acquired TVG last year for $50 million. We have about 330 employees in the U.S., so it's a pretty substantial operation. We have about 2,000 people worldwide. So it's a big part of the business in terms of the number of people. I think it's still growing. Last year, our you know, overall business, our overall group revenues were around $550 million. So we're a large global business, and TVG is one part of that. But I think what's exciting to me and the reason why we bought TVG is because we saw that it was a great foothold into you know, a very, very large market. It was a great way for us to understand the market better and also for us to, to really help educate people about the benefits of an exchange. So we're really encouraged by the progress that we're starting to see here in America in terms of new exchange legislation. And specifically in California, one new event is that at the end of September, a law was passed by Governor Schwarzenegger mm -hmm. that will allow California residents to bet on horse racing via a betting exchange come May of 2012. Mm -hmm. And there's other similar laws being passed or, or going through the legislature in other states like New Jersey as well. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys got your start as a company you know, really rooted in horse racing in the UK as well. And expanding out to other sports, expanding into more you know, casino-style games. Um, there's something about, maybe this is an American thing, there's something about horse racing that just seems not as seedy as other kinds of betting. I mean, do you think a market like the U.S., you ever really can legitimize going as far as you're going with the business in the U.K.? And in the U.K., as do casino games tarnish your brand? I mean, you don't hear of a lot of people who are just going absolutely bankrupt um, you know, betting on horses all day long the way you do online poker? Well, I think it's important that whatever product you offer, you have to do that in a responsible way. So, you know, if you look at our products and, and the way we treat our customers, it's incredibly important that we have all the, you know, player protection tools, we have deposit limits, loss limits. So we take social responsibility extremely, extremely importantly. Um, that said, you know, it's a great form of entertainment as long as it's conducted reasonably. In terms of you know, the product offering that we have, we are a sports-led business, so we have our revolutionary exchange, and we're the global leading exchange for, for online sports betting, and we're the largest 
international online sports betting provider. But our customers have told us that they do want other products. So even though you may be betting on football or tennis during the day, you may want to have a game of poker at night. And as you've diversified out, people don't regard you a different way? I mean, there's a lot of legal businesses in the U.S. that people still regard as sin businesses and shady businesses. I mean, Playboy would be an example. Um, you know, it's not porn, it's legal, but people, you know, you don't want your daughter going to work for Playboy. No concern about that as you get deeper into other kinds of gambling and not just gentlemanly horse racing. Our brand is incredibly important to us, so we would never want to do anything that would affect or tarnish the brand. But if you go back and think about, you know, what are people, you know, doing? Well, you know, certainly if you think about here in America, you know, March Madness or, or people mm -hmm. who go to Super Bowl parties and so on, mm -hmm. I think there is a lot of interest in what goes on in sports and I think there's a lot of interest in, you know, legitimate kind of wagering on those sports. So again, for us, it's respecting local legislation and introducing the products that support our brand and also allow us to grow, continue to grow it long term. Mm -hmm. yeah, you mentioned that the four largest betting markets are the U.S., China, India, and Japan, where there's regulation restriction around all of them. Yeah. So it's an interesting space. I mean, I think this is one of the reasons that you have been this rare successful company out of the UK, because this company couldn't have started here and gotten this big. That's right, and I think you know it is those four largest markets which today are are restricted more or less for for gaming. Now I hope that over time, I don't know when, but over time those markets will see the benefits of regulation and legislation. And of course, we want to be well positioned as we're looking at the US, for example, with our TVG acquisition and the business you know, that we're developing here. We also here in America are building out a development center right here in San Francisco. So we have a team here in San Francisco that are building out our mobile and smartphone applications. We're the first large gaming company to have an iPhone application, an iPad application mm -hmm. that was in the Apple App Store. We have an Android which don't version. Work here. Which don't work here. We use geolocation <laughs> well, you to, should to let ensure. People know That's where right. They Start, they don't work. You, you won't, <laughs> will not be able to use Betfair on, on any platform from the U.S. Uh, but you can build it here. <laughs> that's right, and that's what we're looking to hire. We're trying to recruit, you know, great engineering talent here in the Bay Area who want to help us build great world-class global applications, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's on a mobile platform or on social media platforms or even on the top of our API. So mm -hmm. as a technology business, and we have about 600 engineers in the company, and really from day one, we saw ourselves as this real technology-led, technology-enabled business because mm -hmm. we couldn't do what we do without technology. We process about five million trades each day, which to put it in context in terms of these complex financial trades that we process, that's more than all the European financial exchanges combined. Mm -hmm. So it's really of a large scale. We're serving about a billion page views a day. So technology is really front and center of what we do. Mm -hmm. You and said you do five million trades a day, is that right? Yeah. Yes, about five million. And that includes you know, receiving the orders from hundreds of thousands of retail customers. So we have about three million registered users globally. And we have hundreds of thousands of you know, customers who are active on our site, they're placing bets with us, so we have mm -hmm. to manage those bets as they come in or those orders. And then, of course, we have to match those orders. So if we think about, we have to match people with opposing views. Mm -hmm. So if we think about this weekend's you know, 49ers game, you know, you can imagine if you wanted to bet on 49er, the 49ers, for example. and That'd there be was, a great call, betting would, on the 49ers. On the 49ers. <laughs> well, interestingly <laughs> enough, they started off as the favorites. And uh, you know, one of the great things you can uh, do. Yeah, how are those guys doing? How are the people yeah. who bet on them winning well, it all they, they, they did all right because during the match, and one of the great things is during a game, you can bet on an exchange because the odds will fluctuate second by second. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, the odds on the 49ers, I think, drifted out to four to one mm -hmm. while the game was going on. And then, of course, they came back and, and did well. Mm -hmm. So, so yes, if those guys had any money left from the beginning of the season, <laughs> they would have done well on that it, game. It pains me given that the 49ers <laughs> are my home team, so I'm, I know. I'm, I'm rooting for them. Mm -hmm. And last thing I want to talk about, um, because we're, I'm keeping you here. I know that you've got lots of Web 2.0 business. Um, I want to talk about this LMAX uh, exchange that you spun off um, and started on October 25th. It's yeah. basically using the same platform, the same thing you described, of having to take in five million trades, match them up, settle them instantly so people can continue to bet, and, um, and making that into a financial trading product. Well, thanks for asking about that, Sarah. A few years ago, I mean, just the genesis, <coughs> the genesis of LMAX is, you know, a few years ago, we were thinking about our platform, and as I said, you know, what do we have here? At the, at the heart of Betfair, we have this technology platform, and it's highly robust, highly scalable, very, very fast, and high performing. And what it does is it takes orders in, it matches those orders, and it settles them in real time. 
So we thought to ourselves, surely sports betting can't be the only application for that technology. Mm -hmm. So one of the other obvious choices is around financial services and financial trading. So that was how we started to think about this, this business that has now eventually become LMAX. So we incubated the business at Betfair by having a small handful of our employees take our technology, and they started to adapt it for financial trading. And that's grown over the years to where we are today, where we have a team of about 80 people. It's in a separate office, a separate management team, so it's a, a completely separate business to us. And it's been FSA authorized, and the FSA is the Financial Services Authority in the UK, so it's very, very well regulated. And what we've done is we've developed a financial contracts for difference exchange. And it will really be the first time that a retail customer will have unfettered access into a CFD's exchange. The benefits will be that they're trading into a neutral platform. They can also build off their API, so LMAX has their own API, and they'll be able to write their own applications. And I think over time, we'll reduce the cost for those customers as well. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest challenge around, you know, in the gaming world is around regulation and that mm -hmm. different countries have different views. In financial services, actually regulation, although it's very, very strict it's very, very well defined, and but I think it, that's a good thing. But isn't it very thing. different from country to country? I mean, maybe you can do this without Europe, but if you wanted to come do this in the United States, if you wanted sure. to, I mean, you can't expand the business globally that's the right. same way so, you could. So I Twitter. think there'll, there'll certainly be local regulation that we'll have to cater for, and a lot of the work that we've done on the platform is to ensure that we can cater for the different regulatory requirements. You must have like just an army of people sitting and reading different laws somewhere <laughs> in an office back at Bev Fair. We we do have a very large legal team, and uh, you know, and I think you know one of the things that set us apart, you know, is that this is an industry where companies can take shortcuts, mm -hmm. and certainly in the U.S., a lot of companies were taking customers from the U.S. And our view was always that wagering in the U.S. was going to be illegal mm -hmm. uh, given the U.S. Wire Act and therefore we never accepted wagers from the U.S. So, you know, thankfully we have a very, very good legal team that takes that long-term right. view.